Good evening, everyone. This is Andrea Jeans with Cornerstone University, cohort OLAS 25 Digital Literacy, under Professor Richard DeVries. It is July 19th, 2021, and I would like to give a presentation on extended reality. Under the umbrella of extended reality, falls virtual reality. In 1935, American science fiction writer Stanley Weinbaum published Pygmalion's Spectacles, in which the main character explores a fictional world using a pair of goggles. This was the first prediction of VR as we know it today. Next, augmented reality was first known in 1968 when the AR headset created by Harvard professor Ivan Sutherland was called the Sword of Democles, which displayed computer-generated graphics which enhanced the user's perception of the world, an early precursor to today's AR experiences. And finally, mixed reality. In 2016, Microsoft released its HoloLens headset, which took the idea of AR to a new level by creating an, a more interactive experience, hence the phrase mixed reality. This was also the year in which the Pokemon game brought AR into the mainstream. By the end of 2016, hundreds of companies were developing VR and AR experiences. Virtual reality is a fully immersive experience. It excludes the user from the real world. Completely simulated with digital content, the user wears opaque headsets with infracted LCD or OLED panels that fill the viewer's field of vision really offering a 360 degree artificial environment. With modern day advancements, VR is allowing physicians to alleviate pain, stress, depression, and PTSD by rewiring their patients' neurological and psychological circuitry. It's revolutionized the way engineers design, develop, and manufacture their products. And VR projects real world scenarios during job training academies. Augmented reality, on the other hand, uses information in the form of text, graphics, audio, and other virtual enhancements. Digital details are superimposed over real time physical surroundings, and it comes in various forms. You could use augmented reality with your smartphone, tablet, magic mirror, transparent smart glasses, and hearables. AR possibilities allow mobile users marker-based engagement with businesses via pop-up coupons, promos, and product videos. It offers students an enriched educational experience while supporting their individual learning styles. And it allows minimally invasive surgical procedures with the use of guided 3D imaging. Now here comes mixed reality. An extension of augmented reality, it allows for both real and virtual elemental interactions. It can blur the difference between physical reality and the digital world. And users typically wear headsets which consist of narrow transparent goggles, which create a 3D effect. With mixed reality, there is an improvement in the industrial operational efficiency, where it concerns maintenance, quality control, and training. Military uses MR to implement tactical and synthetic training purposes. And architects and builders can adjust a building's design in the middle of the development. With the projected value of $463.7 billion and a compound annual growth rate of more than 62%, all by the year 2026, extended reality is growing at an impressive rate. And on its heels is haptic technology. 
Moving beyond headsets, this growing group of technologies is being developed for the immersion of tactile senses, such as temperatures, textures, weight, and durability, allowing viewers and users to sense and feel, not just hear, not just see, but to, to really have that full immersed experience. I would like to give credit to all of these resources, really a plethora of text and photos, all being made possible for this PowerPoint presentation on extended reality. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.